July was a warm month and the eighth month in a row to have above average temperature. Many days saw temperatures above 25 degrees Celsius, especially in the southeast. There was plenty of dry, sunny weather, but this was interspersed with some rather unsettled spells, seeing localised downpours and thunderstorms, with the heaviest rain in the southeast and East Anglia. Looking at the statistics for the month as a whole, the UK mean temperature was 16.3 degrees Celsius, which is 1.2 degrees above the 1981-2010 to long-term average. This ranks as the equal 8th warmest July in a series since 1910, but was not as warm as last year. Rainfall was slightly below average overall, particularly across Devon, Cornwall and the southwest Wales, but well above average in parts of East Anglia. The UK overall received 82% of average rainfall, very similar to last year. It was a sunny month for most areas, especially the west and north, with 133% of average sunshine hours for the UK overall, making it provisionally the sixth sunniest July in a series since 1929, though not as sunny as July 2013. So where were the hottest, coldest, wettest and windiest places in July? A maximum temperature of 32.3 degrees Celsius was recorded at Gravesend, Kent on the 18th. A minimum temperature of 1.2 degrees was recorded at Braemar, Aberdeenshire on the 6th. In the 24 hours ending at 0900 GMT on the 28th, 51.2 millimetres of rain fell at Santon Downham, Suffolk. A wind gust of 59 miles per hour was recorded at Walkup Range, Cumbria on the 18th. Now we'll take a closer look at the weather that defined July. The month began with some fine, bright weather for many, but with showers affecting much of Scotland. Rain moved in from the west on the 4th, resulting in some high totals across parts of North Wales and Northern England, and it became increasingly windy. Heavy showers then caused some localised flooding in parts of England and Wales on the 7th and 8th, with some notably high rainfall totals. Then there were several warm days with plenty of summer sunshine for many as the UK became sandwiched between weather fronts lying to the east and west of the country. On the 10th, this resulted in a band of at times heavy rainfall afflicting eastern counties. This broke down on the 12th, bringing another wet day for many, but this was followed by a period of fine weather interspersed with rain and showers. This ended for some in thunderstorms and heavy showers associated with the Spanish plume during Friday 18th through Sunday 20th. Norwich Airport recorded 45.8 millimetres, three quarters of its normal monthly rainfall amount in just one hour. There was some flooding and disruption reported, with damage due to lightning strikes and problems with railway signalling equipment. A spell of largely fine and warm summery weather then returned for most until further heavy showers and thunderstorms resulted in some large rainfall totals in southeast England from 27th to 29th. Flash flooding caused localised problems on roads and railways in Sussex on the morning of the 28th. The last few days of the month saw some sunny spells and showers, for some particularly on the 31st. Here are some of your July weather pictures you sent in. Send in your pictures of August weather through Twitter and you could feature in next month's summary video.